So there are a few ways you can make your audio sound bad and distorted and reap and we'll go through all of them. And so first one you'll have to type in in your effects filter bit reduction and I like the one with noise shaping. Simply drag it onto your audio clip and it will look like this. So right here what you can do is you can control the bit depth here and the lower the bit depth the worse your audio will sound. I guess I'll play the original at first. Let's try and make this audio sound bad and distorted within Reaper. So 16 bit depth is quite all right. Usually you want to have it at 24 to sound good. And if you start going down a little bit, somewhere, somewhat around 12, you'll hear a noticeable difference and it will introduce a lot of white noise. So let's play this. Let's try and make this audio sound bad and distorted within Reaper. Let's try and make this audio sound bad. All right, so I initially forgot to check the box. Then you can also disable the noise shaping and it will sound even worse. Bad and distorted. And if you turn off did, I don't know how to pronounce the word, didder, something like that. Bad and distorted within Reaper. Let's try and make this audio sound bad and all right, so that gives quite a bit of effect, so it sounds much worse. So now I will disable this effect and we'll try another one. So this one is a very simple one, white noise generator. And it's kind of similar, but you get more control over how much of the white noise you get uh, in in comparison to original audio so right right now you're just hearing the noise that's because dry volume so that's the original audio is at minus 120 if we increase it now it will be audible but then there's still maybe you want to have less of the white noise you can decrease it Add and distort it. So this one is very simple. You can control the volume of original audio and then the volume of white noise. Another one, another effect you can use is called distortion with fuzz. So this will give this, this one uses hard limiter. So it means that it cuts all of the audio that is at uh, minus 25 decibels and above. So the, the more you cut, the worse it will sound. We can play it. And then distort it within. I would use stereo here. And then distort it within Reaper. Again, you can control the the volume of original audio in here, dry mix, and then uh, wet mix is gonna be the audio that is affected by the effect. Then also, if you increase shape, it will give more of this weird fuzzy distortion. And then distort it within Reaper. All right. And also, you can decrease the shape. So it will still be distorted, but it will be like more like monotone. And then distort it within Reaper. And you can control the hard limit as well. Let's try and make this audio sound bad and distort it within Reaper. So if you 
decrease hard limit, it cuts more of the audio, but it also makes it quieter. So it will make it sound worse and quieter at the same time. And then if you don't want the shape thing, you can also use just a simple distortion with no fuzz and basically it's all the same except uh, except that it has no shape, no fuzziness to it. So I'll disable this one as well. The last effect we're going to look at is Reaper's built-in equalizer, re-EQ. And quite often it truncates your equalizer, so we'll probably need to expand your equalizer as well. It's kind of weird. And at first I didn't even realize that I, I, I can't really see the whole graphic here. So what you can do here is control the frequencies and to make your audio sound worse, you can, I guess, either cut higher end or lower end frequencies. If you use high shelf and let's say we pick fifth, oh, I, I want to reset the factory. I'll pick the fourth dot here. I'll use high shelf. Move this one as well. This way my audio will sound very muffled because I'm cutting out the higher end frequency. So it will sound like this. And then distort it within Reaper. Let's try and make this audio sound bad and distort. Alright, and then you can do the same thing with the lower frequencies where you would cut them out. So you would use low shelf. Move these somewhat to the right. Oh. It will sound very thin because you will no longer have the lower end frequencies. Distorted within Reaper. Let's try and make this audio sound bad and distorted. And that's it. That's how you become victorious at achieving bad and distorted audio quality in Reaper.